here as they pay tribute to four young lives cut short one year ago today. We're talking about Braxton Ford, Jalen Roberts, Kamari Hunt, and Marcel Wills. They were all killed on the northeast side last year. Well, their families and friends held that balloon release tonight in their honor. Fox of United's Courtney Crown was there and shared this exclusive report with us tonight. Well, time must be gone here at the Parish House East Apartments. New people have moved into the unit where all of this happened last year. And of course, Braxton and Jalen's mothers tonight are continuing their journey to healing. And they also shared a very direct message for our young people. To you know that, you know, we have this amount of love for them. It means a lot for us. Braxton Ford, Jalen Roberts, Kamari Hunt, and Marcel Wills all tragically killed in a carriage house east apartment on February 5th, 2020. Tonight, dozens of people gathered to release balloons and remind their families they are not alone. Kim Roberts and Kendra Ford made it through the year together. Kim keeps me on my toes and, you know, it's like, <laughs> you know, she suggested I'm, I'm with her. The year their children died, 245 other families experienced similar grief. 24 more lives ended in January 2021 from homicides. As I think about everything that has happened so far this year, it just saddens me that all this gun violence is still going on. They plead for peace and unity in Indianapolis and hope more resources will help our youth. We need to work with them as to educate them on uh, anger management. I mean, anger management policy. Uh, we need to educate them on mental health. To our young people, whatever you're experiencing, these moms have one wish. Ask for help. Talk to people you can trust. You know, you guys have a future. Don't let that future end up with you being killed or being locked up for the rest of your life. in the murders of Kamar, Braxton, Jalen, and Marcel. The families are hopeful that trial will begin this summer. Reporting on the Northeast Side tonight, Courtney Crown, Fox 59 News. Courtney, thank you. We are sending so much love and endless prayers to all of those families and that community this evening. Your pain is not lost on any of us.